If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, June 3rd, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Last March, Marcus Schlesinger won the Hunter Butterfly at the NCAA Division II Championships for Wachita Baptist University, a great way to end his collegiate career. But he's not done with swimming. In July, he'll travel to Israel to take part in the Makayaba Games alongside notable Jewish American swimmers such as Garrett Weber Gale and Andy Muris. Schlesinger is here in Phoenix training for the meet and I visited with him after a recent workout. So Marcus, thanks for joining us. How was uh, workout today? It was good. So it's supposed to be recovery, but it's a little tough for me. I don't know. <laughs> what, tell, tell me about what was so tough about the workout today. Um, I just had to use my core a lot, and I guess I'm not in that great a shape yet. So. Well, you got, what is it, about six weeks until the, the Maccabea game? So you got some time. Yeah, yeah, about. So let's talk about the Maccabea games. Um, Obviously, there is no kind of like selection meet like they have for World Championships or the Olympics or something like that. Mm -hmm. So how does one become a part of the Team USA team for the Maccabee Games? Well, uh, you have to you apply for it. And if your times are fast enough and the coaches like you, then you get accepted. Is it, will this be your first time at the Maccabee Games? Uh, at these games in Israel, yes. Okay. Yeah, I've been to... Uh, uh, like smaller games in Australia and Brazil. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're going to be on a team with people like Garrett Weber Gale. Mm -hmm. How exciting! That must be really exciting to yeah, know that yeah. you're going to be. I mean, you'll probably even be racing some of his events. I mean, you're both sprint mm -hmm. freestylers. Yeah, I'm really uh, excited. Tell me, kind of, what are your goals for this meet? Um, just place as high as I can and just try and keep up with the big dogs. <laughs> well, it's it, it's been a really popular me. I remember in 2009 they had Jason Lezak there. He swam really mm -hmm. fast, and of course this year having Garrett Weber Gale there. Yeah. I mean, what does it mean for you um, as someone who's trying to evolve in this sport and get up in those elite ranks? I mean, what does it mean to you that that people like Garrett, Jason Lezak, Lenny Kraselberg throughout history have mm -hmm. taken time out of their schedule to attend this meet? It's it means a lot. It's a uh, it just shows how how big the meet is and how many fast uh, Jewish swimmers are going to be there. Will this be your first time in Israel? Mm-hmm. Wow. So you'll, and I understand there's, this is more than just a swim meet. I mean, it's like a cultural experience. Like yeah. you really go on tours and things like that, learn mm -hmm. about your Jewish heritage. Yeah, the whole, the whole first week is touring and uh, cultural stuff. And then the second week is when all the competitions start. So as a, someone who you know, knows all about tapering, you might have to... Let yeah. that all out by the wayside. Do a lot of walking around. Yeah, Jerusalem. I heard. I heard it's a little tough to hold your taper that first week, but we'll see. <laughs> and uh, you know, this has been a really good um, year for you. You're mm -hmm. not just going to the Maccabee Games, but you had a really good end to your collegiate season in NCAA's. Yeah. You won the hundred fly. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> um, from what I understand, there was kind of a toss up of whether you were going to either do the two hundred free or the hundred fly that day. Tell us about that. Well, actually, we I was debating with my coach about doing the two free and the hundred fly, but we were like, uh, maybe maybe we shouldn't do that. Cause, that's a tough double. Yeah, that's that's what they're saying, and they're like, not a lot of people have been able to do that successfully. And I was like, okay, that's that's true. I'll I'll go for the fly because I mean I was ranked highest in that, so. Turned out really well. Best yeah, time, yeah. <laughs> first NCAA championship. Yeah. And, you know, you've been so close every year. You know, mm -hmm. A lot of seconds and thirds over your career with Cheetah Baptist. Yeah. What does it mean to you to see that one next to your name on the scoreboard? It it was awesome. Like, I I don't know. I can't explain it. I was just I was ecstatic. And that day was actually really good for you, too. Also, you let off the turn free relay mm -hmm. with a 19.7, your fastest ever, yeah, yeah. your second time under 20 seconds. I know in yeah, Division that was... two, that's a big hurdle to jump over yeah. to get under 20 seconds. So when you did that in the 50 the day before, 
mm. you're probably really ecstatic. Did you think, you know, there's no way I can go any faster? Was that was that 50 free the perfect race for you, or was that was the relay leadoff the perfect race? Um, I think the the relay leadoff was the perfect race, but after the individual, I didn't think I was going to go faster than that. I was like. That was sweet. I wanted to break 20, and I broke 20, and I was really excited. I wasn't expecting to go 19.7, but that was, that was cool. So what's in the future for you after the Maccabee Games? Are you going to keep swimming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm just I'm going to train here until uh, trials and see what I can do there. So you've already mapped it out all the way to 2016? Uh, kind of. <laughs> well, we could see. I know you went to the 2008 trials, had some, you know, I know you no, weren't. 2012. Yeah, 2012 yeah, yeah. trials. Uh, you know, what did you learn from that that you're going to be taking through um, these next three years? Uh, just work on technique and everything. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what led you to want to uh, come here to train in Phoenix? Uh, well, the, our old uh, assistant coach from my freshman year at Washita. He was here, uh, I think, two summers ago, and he invited me out here to train with him. And I just, I don't know, I fell in love with the coaching staff and all the swimmers. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to be kind of mingling with the Grand Canyon swimmers throughout the summer. Really yeah. good team. They did really well this past year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, something I really, I, I also learned was um, going back to the Maccabea games, you had said you had attended a meet in Australia, and I know that was mm. a really personal meet for you because you had lost your best friend mm. just a little bit before that. Tell yeah. us about um, what you did in his honor to at that meet in Australia. I just, I tried to do the best I could for, I just wanted to swim for him and yeah. <laughs> I would imagine that you know you hit. From what I understand, he died during open. He was doing some surfing, yeah, off California, and he yeah, died through surfing. Yeah, and a great white shark attacked him. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you did your first open water race in yeah. his honor. Was and I, I've been to Bondi Beach, not yeah. the not the really the best place to yeah, be swimming. I know, I know it's I a was, lot of sharks there. Yeah, I was really scared. <laughs> I was just like looking in the bottom the whole time, making sure nothing was gonna come up and attack me I don't know I was freaking out the whole time but it was I was just glad to get out of the water when I finished probably had your friend <laughs> looking down on you helping through that yeah so I imagine um, you're gonna be swimming in his honor again as well mm -hmm. always well Marcus we're gonna be really looking forward to seeing how you do not just at the Maccabea games but mm -hmm. in these next three years leading up to the 2016 Olympic trials thanks for joining us thank you all right, so that's Marcus Schlesinger. Look for him at the Maccabee Games this July in Israel. And I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching us today on the Morning Swim Show.